So yeah, Helltaker. Have never played this. I've seen some screenshots of it. And it's like some sort of puzzle game or something. But it seemed pretty cool. So I'm going to take a bit shot. So let, let's do just that. You find yourself surrounded by the void. Press enter or A to continue. Oh wait, does this work with controller? Native controller support? It does, nice, okay. Controller support engaged. Greetings, little one. Please don't mind me, it's just I. Good old Beelzebub. Oh, okay, well, good day to you too. Let's start a new game. Story of the Helltaker again? Interesting. Do you, by any chance, need a narrator? Why, please allow me. It'll be a pleasure. Okay, sure. I guess I guess I still have to do the reading. You're, you're not gonna voice act narrator it? Okay, that's fine. I guess I'll do my job. You woke up one day with a dream. Harem full of demon girls. Sounds like a pretty good dream to me, to be honest. It was, however, an uneasy dream to achieve. It could cost you your life. When demon girls are involved, no price is high enough. You said, as you ventured down to hell. Okay, so our goal is to get a harem of demon girls. And we're risking our life to do it. Yeah, sounds about accurate. Okay, so, okay, we are controlling the guy in the suit. And we have like a counter in the bottom left, which shows how many moves we can do per level, I guess. Okay, and we can kick you. Wait, but if I kick you again. Okay, then you break into pieces. And I can kick this a lot of times, but it doesn't break. Okay. So this rock doesn't break. But it probably can be pushed. Um, so I think I want to push it like this. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. Also, this music is a banger. Sounds pretty cool. Name's Pandemonica. Hell's customer service. How may I serve you? Maybe I can serve you instead. Always hit on girls at work. That's the best place to do it. Obviously. You know. Th th they'll totally get appreciated. Sweet of you to offer. I could really use some coffee. I'm not myself without it. It actually worked? What? You know what? I'll, I'll take it. First girl over demon harem down. Okay. So we have 24 steps this time. And there's a new sort of tile here, which looks to be like... Oh, if we step on it... We take damage, it seems. Damage being... It takes away an extra move. Okay. You and me, now. Deal. No questions asked. They always say that. They always try to run away. I have to break your knees just in case. What? <laughs> okay. So we reached the bad end because we agreed to go with her. And she's like, nah. I like my men crippled. I see. Okay. Well, let's do that again. No time. Busy gathering girls. D Demon harm? You poor fool. They will you to shreds. And I have to see this. Nice. Heck taker. Hey, Salt. Welcome in. Okay. Ooh, there's three this time and they're cat girls. I'm down for this. 
Uh, let's see. And that is a lock which we have to grab the key for. Um, I'm wondering if it's better to go through the one and kill the demon or to go through four of the spike traps. I mean, it's basically three spike traps versus one demon. I'm going to try the one demon, especially because we also need to make our way back. And once we've killed you... Hmm, okay. So that wasn't it. So what if I go through all of these? Wait, and then on the way back, maybe? There we go. Oh, it's Cerberus. Oh, that's cute. Are you a human? A real human? Please take us with you. This is getting too easy. I have questions. We need a human to cross the Hell's Gate. You don't have to be in one piece, though. Huh. I guess I shouldn't have asked questions this time, huh? Okay. Yes, at last. It's time to corrupt the mortal realm. I guess they only want to kill us if we make an issue out of it. Okay, level four. Ooh, this one looks a bit grumpy. Bit of a grumpy demon. Uh, let's see. So we can push blocks. So we... I mean, we have to go down here. Pushing this block to the right seems bad. So I think I want to push this down. Push this over. Actually, doesn't that lock me in? Because we can't push that anymore. Yeah, I need to restart. Um, so we have to do that differently. I don't think I can push this one to the right because that gives me no entry to the key. So we have to push this one down. Dang, almost. Okay. Let's see. What am I missing? I could... If I push this... Down... And push that to the right, that up. That's what I did last time. Hold on. What if I do this? No, that's just worse. That's just straight up worse. Okay, what if we do this initially? No. Okay, then I think my earlier plan was close to the best. But I'm doing something inefficiently there, I think. So, so far it makes sense. Wait, I want to test something, actually. Can I push them if they're... No. Okay. So I can't push rows. I can only push one at a time. Otherwise, I could have pushed that entire row down. And some of them looking more cracked than others, I don't think matters, right? It's not like we can break this. No, okay. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Okay. 
Okay, we'll kick that. Come on, I'm so close. This much seems accurate. I have 15 left. There we go. Got it. Great. More brain-dead idiots. Never seen your ugly face before. What are you playing at? <laughs> oh, are we going to go for that one? Man, the, the dialogue is pretty fun. Um, uh, do we want to just be eager? Or do we want to go for this? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this. Fantastic! Just my luck to find another masochistic creep. Well, dang. She she's not into masochists. Unlucky. Like what? Video games? Sure, why not? As long as you're okay with turn-based strategies. I love turn-based strategies. Great, let's game. Okay, so we have one monster. We have a key. And we have some holes in the ground. Oh, and they become traps? Okay. Hold on. Um, do I want to push one? Huh. Um. Close. Okay, but I get the idea of this. That's cool. So I need an extra turn before I get to that. So I want to kick one of these. What if I try kicking... This one up instead. Then grab my key again. Then kick it up. No, because I'm going to take damage now. Now I'm on a bad cycle. Ah, that works if we just waste the turn. Yo, I've heard about your harm. I'm in. <laughs> she seems a bit too eager. It's not really a harm anymore. We just play turn-based strategies. Oh shit, let me put you out of your misery. Dang, she wanted the harm? She's not into turn-based strategies. Unfortunate. Wait, I have a feeling I'll regret this. Too bad, I'm coming anyway. Go ahead, try to stop me. Well, I'm not really into smokers, but... I guess for a demon, we'll have to make an exception. Oh, she has a halo. She looks kind of angelic. Interesting. We have 43 moves. So let's th think. We have these teeth again that are on a cycle. Uh, we have two demons that we potentially have to kill. We have a key that we need to grab. Um, I could just push this left rock down to grab the key and try to take that right path, but the boulders would get stuck if I approach that from the right hand side. 
How does this interact? Okay, so that just locks that. Oh, okay, and we can't kick you past the demon. Okay, so we... Hmm. Interesting. Wait, but didn't it let us crush you? Wait, how did I do that previously? I did something. All oh, right, I just kicked this one down twice, right? Yeah, and then it let me, okay. Um, but obviously that's not gonna work because we have to take out the demon on the right side as well. What if I grab you here? If I kick that, I can kill you, but all of this is now blocked. And those aren't holes to go through, okay. Hmm. Interesting. I have the feeling that one of these I have to kick into the hole on the left. I'm just not sure how I would accomplish that. How would I reach the one on the right again? Hmm. Okay, let's just try some things actually. No, that's not gonna do anything for me. Um, no, because this just locks it in, right? Yeah, that just locks me in too much. So we can't do that. If I just do this, then I'm locked in initially already. So it's not the middle one. If we do the left one, we can grab the key. And we can do this and kill you. But then all of that is locked in. And we can't get past there anymore. If I do you once, do you once. Okay, we could do this. We don't have the key yet. And now we need to kill But this is locked in now. Actually, I guess we could... Yeah, okay, we can walk around like that. So that is an option. But that takes a lot of kicks. Is the issue. How did I do it again? Not like this. Now the kick the left one down once.
No, now this is locked in. Hmm. Okay. We do it like this, then we're never getting access to that side at all. there oh no we already screwed up what if i just ignore this demon on the left and just focus on this what can we do nothing right because this is the we can only kick down and if we kick you yeah you're in the way hmm this one is tricky. What is LB? Don't look at me for puzzle hints. I'm not a nerd. Maybe go kill yourself on some spikes. This is always like that. I can't believe you invited her. Yeah, what were you thinking, man? I'm glad you invited Malinka, though. She spent so, too much time alone. Playing the most nerdy video games I've ever seen. Can you please shut up? Do you know how, it turned, how turned on she gets while playing them? That one time when she killed one of us. Me or her. Please fast you know what i'm gonna just kill myself what do you think you're doing hey wait well we reached another bad end okay what happens if i kill them just leave them be you get used to it eventually but that didn't do anything for me did it uh, I had the salt. I was hoping that would get me a hint. Because I'm still stuck. Like, I get some of the core concepts, right? Because this left rock here, I have to push inside there. Something like that makes sense to me, right? And they want me to kill this guy. And I should push this over that way. And then if that rock wasn't there, I could push this up, push the other one to the right, kill that guy, then push this rock into the corner. But because... So I'm not allowed to move this rock down two. I can only move this rock down one or I get stuck. But if I move this rock down only one, I can't actually get out. What happens if I do this? Just murder you. Push this up. Push this over. Kill you. Except now my key is still stuck. <sighs> okay. I feel like I'm getting closer. Got there. That one was tricky. Oh, but she's cute. She's a curious angel. Oh my heavens, what would a living human be doing in hell? Most unusual. I'm looking for angels just like you. You want my many here? Lucky for you? I know a better place. Please, hold my hand. Who would have guessed that lying will get you into heaven? Say goodbye to your demon harem, though. 
Ah. Well, unlucky. Uh, how did I do this again? Wait. Um... Dang it, I forgot how to do this exactly. Um, so this middle one we don't want to kick. We want to kick the right one. And the left one. Mm, hold on. Left, right. Kick you over, kick you over. Kill you, kick, kick, grab the key. I had it! I had it! Ha, uh, and now I forgot. Like, I kind of like that they have different options at the end of each chapter, but it's a little bit annoying that you have to redo the entire puzzle if you choose wrong. Especially because I like remembered the con the ideas of it, but it's like 43 steps. And I'm not memorizing 43 steps very well. Don't miss match because you got baited by an angel. That's on you. I mean, yeah, that's fair. That is on me. You are right. Um no matter what I kick, I take damage here. At this point, I need to go back to grab the key. Doing that out of sequence. I need to grab the key. There we go. I'm looking for demons. Oh, you too? Let me guess. Thesis on modern sin? Or is it demonology? We should join forces. Sure, join my harem. That counts, right? Ooh, this one is sunglasses. Cool. We match, because I also have sunglasses. Okay, let's see. Uh, I have a key over there that I need to grab. And I don't know if these three teeth are on a cycle or if just the other three are on a cycle. So let me actually test that. Okay, so all of the teeth are on a cycle. Noted. Um, furthermore, I have these rocks. If I just try to kill you, I can't get get push you, right? But it's not a terrible idea to kick both of them. Although I'm on a terrible cycle now. So kill one. Then I can go through this on a perfect cycle. Kill you, grab that. Okay, I need to kill the other one, I guess. Kill you to be on the good cycle. Grab this. Kill you on the way back. And no longer have access to this. Okay. Hmm. Hey, Danny, welcome in. Let's see. So how do I get... 
I guess I need to push both this one and this one up and then I, I get access to it, right? So I can't afford... Do I actually want to just walk back down? I don't have enough steps to do that either. Huh. Okay, I kill you. Move through that. What if I don't waste time killing you? I kill you. I already push you up before I go down there. Oh, come on, I had it. Had it. She's cool cat and catch him at the same time. She is. Maybe she should be in FFC emote. I think that's the idea though. I think I have the idea right here. But I'm not on a good cycle now. And I think I need to start on a good cycle already going into that. What if I just do both of these? So I already end on a good cycle. Grab this, kill you. No, that's worse somehow. I do think you need to do this because otherwise you can't use the shortcut at all. And I think he wants to use the shortcut. So if we go through here. Yeah, there's no way. So you definitely need to go through that path on a good cycle. If I just push this right boulder up already. I can't get the left boulder out. So I enter here with 12. Walking down below would take too long. It's literally one. I'm one short. I have some inefficiency somewhere. And it's literally that I take an extra turn to get the cycle right. So there should be something else I can already do to help. Uh, no, it's not that. I wish there was a back button to go back like one button. If you think you accidentally like press the wrong thing. Hmm. 
That would be nice. Hmm. Okay. We need some kind of approach here that I'm not seeing. Do we maybe need to get rid of this right hand side block? What if I kick you? No, if I kick you over, I can't push the other one up again. Okay, so if you are already kicked up. Nope, then we're ending on a bad cycle. If I kick both of these up once... No, that's not it either. So when we did it like this... See, like, I want to go back one because I accidentally kicked him and I didn't mean to. But you can't just go back. Mm, you can't just go back one step. Oh, wait a second. There it is. Figured it out. Ooh, Justice the Awesome Demon. She is pretty awesome. Yo, did she just solve that puzzle? It's awesome. Take some work. Wanna join my harem? You have to ask me. I'd never miss a party. Nice. Okay, interesting. So we have 12. I can just skip the line. <laughs> we made at last. You've proved yourself worthy by passing all my trials. Pledge your soul to me, and I'll make you my most treasured slave. Mm, nah, but you can join my harem. What are you trying to accomplish? You think you're gonna slave demons to your will? Holy shit, I love this answer. I mean, like, I'd be kind of convinced. Turn-based strategies, chocolate pancakes. I mean, not that big on coffee, you know, but maybe tea as an alternative. I'd be down. Really? Is that it? You come here and try to buy me over with pancakes? You're lucky I have a thing for pancakes. I think you've convinced me. That harem of yours may prove to be entertaining after all. Nice. We got the CEO of hell by offering pancakes. That's great. Okay, so there's no girl here, but we have a door that we obviously have to go through. Um, we have a key available to us. So I think I want to kick you up. Actually, that doesn't do enough. Yeah, that doesn't do enough. So, like if I grab this, obviously I can't get past here. We can push you in there. But yeah, those still don't move over. How does this help me? I 
I don't think it does. But this is interesting. Taking this path to the key. Hmm. Maybe I'm overthinking this actually. Well, not. Okay, I need to think a bit more. I shouldn't underthink this either. No. No, that keeps everything stuck here. I feel like that hole is there for a reason. But... I mean... What's the advantage of having this one there? I don't see it at the moment. Okay, I grab you. Now what? Um, we can't kick those. Okay, this one is trickier than it first seems. Like at first sight, it seems easier. Because once I get the key, I need to get an opening to the lock which means that the key like two spaces below the lock cannot be pushed upwards which means the likely entrance is the block to the right of it right that means like likely the key above me right now is the one where we need to walk past but if we just kick that up once we can't move the block next to it to the left and we can't get past. Hmm. I want to move that to the left then. But you can't move multiple blocks at once. Hmm. Okay, if I push this up, that doesn't really do anything. Because that still keeps us just as trapped as normal. If I push this up and this left, I don't really see what that does for me either. It doesn't seem to create any openings. So the question is really, do I push this block over like this? Or do I try to go past like this? If I go past like this, I grab my key. But I don't really have an opening at all. Actually, no, I feel like something like that is the answer, though. But now I can't, hmm. I can't 
can't justify kicking you to the right because then I can't get past like that. Even though that does open this up, right? So in that sense, it would be viable. Because we could access the lock from the right hand side. Because if I do this, I can never access it from the right hand side. And this block here to the left of me is always going to block me. Because I can never kick it to the left. Because I can never move that block to the left of it. Kicking it up just blocks it in further. And I can't reach above it to kick it down. So we definitely need to move that left one up. Oh, I just wasted a move. So this is probably not going to be the run. The issue is as soon as I move this one up, which I need to do, I can't move the one next to it to the left anymore. Nor can I move it to the right. Hmm. Can I get other life advice? If you can't do it, just skip it in the pause menu. I don't want to be sitting here all day. Let's look at all this mess. Seems to know, but he used to help the hell's gate in quite some time. Makes me wonder how you got here in the first place. Look at new miracles. He somehow got you out of your office after all. True, he's the first one not to take the slave offer. For a second there, I hoped he would give you a slave offer. Justice, don't give people ideas that will get them murdered. Oh, come on, I'm sure you'd enjoy some maid roleplay. Okay, so they basically just tell you, you can skip it if you don't enjoy it. I don't, I don't want to skip it. Uh, okay, so let's see if we can solve it. I was just hoping it would give like a slight hint or something towards the correct solution. This doesn't do anything for me, does it? No, because I can't get past either of those. Mm. So we want to kick you up. What if I kick you past here already? I think that's that's an idea there though. So I already want to kick you over. So close. What if I do it like this? No, then I can't reach the bottom anymore. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you walk around, it takes too long. I think I somehow need to reach that position in fewer moves.
Like we legit make it next to the lock with the key in hand. How could I shorten that? I can't do it this way because that blocks my access down here. I keep doing the same now. Which doesn't help. Hmm. We're close though. We're close to solving this. We just need to find some way to get to that with more steps left. I can't wait, so if we assume this is our opening, I can't wait with moving this one up right now, because as soon as I do this, that would block it in, right? And we commit to that. So we need to have already moved those up there. Can I do something different in my opening? I can do this, but that blocks. My bottom block here. We can't get past that anymore. That's not it at all. The issue is that we take so many steps to kick this. If we can't somehow do it with the bottom one. I feel like that would save us a lot of moves if we could. And I just don't see how we get past it now. Because this is just in the way. Just to repeat what we have. Eight left. And we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one more to open the lock. And potentially you need to do like one or two steps to the door. So we're we're like one to three short. Where can we cut something? Kicking this block up, no. Kick that second block up. And then we kick you out. And we have to kick you again. And doing that keeps you in the way, meaning we have to walk around you rather than be able to move down twice immediately. 
So that takes up steps already. And then if you weren't there, we could just walk around this. So somehow we would prefer that block to not be in our way. Take an extra turn to kick that now. No, then it's just still just as much in the way. Like this costs me one extra energy early on. Just to have that now in the way. Doesn't really help though, does it? Not because because at the bottom we still can't get past. I guess I can kick that over there. And I can't justify kicking this down either. This is just worse. What if I do this first? That's just gonna be worse, right? Actually... That's it. You truly thought you could just walk away? After all you've done? Felt the binding coal of chains on your skin, followed by fire, burning the flesh from your bones. Wait, what? I didn't even get a choice. I just died. It felt as if you've died a thousand deaths. Yet as the flame subsided, some of you were still alive. I only just found you, trespasser, so don't die on me yet. We will spend a lot of time together, you and I. Oh, who's this? Oh, Judgment, the High Prosecutor, with chains, kinky. Ignite the sin machine, suffering must be made. Oh, what's this? A boss fight? Ow. Ow, ow. Oh, I see. I just don't know how much health I have. How do you like the sin machine, trespasser? Surrender and let it consume you. No, wait, don't give up. You need to get us out of here. And I'm still looking forward to my coffee. Leave hope. His fate is sealed. Judgment, dear. This man may not know it, but he belongs to me. Could you please not damage him? Be silent. Real work is about to begin. Okay. Oh, I ran into that. Oh my god, this is quick. I'm not the best when it comes to like... Rhythm kind of stuff. And this is kind of... Kind of entering the domain of rhythm -y stuff. Also, it would really help to be able to see how many hit points I have. Mm. 
because like obviously you want to dodge as much as you can but it's also nice to know if you're dying in one more hit or if you are allowed to take like two hits still this change that bind you are made of things that brought you here your ego your greed your lust you are your own torturer enough high prosecutor i order you to stand down at once no authority stands above punishment keep going judgment you're on a roll yes please continue this is a plus material so far i'm supposed to be the goddamn queen of hell why is nobody ever listening to me i feel bad for you ceo Oh god, oh god. Ow. Ow. What? Where was I even? There was too many, too many chains. I might have to skip this one because I'm just not good enough at rhythm games like this and this is this is getting too close to like rhythm game bullet hell shooter stuff and that's just not really my forte i really like the puzzle element of this game so far and i like the writing and everything but like the action based stuff is like not great and also like if there's like four in a corner and i'm already there like what am i supposed to do like i'm basically already dead and it feels like there's very little that sometimes can be done to dodge some of these like let me like go slower you know what? i'm gonna activate god mode because this is i'm guessing god mode will just let me take as many hits as needed i'm gonna still try and dodge but like this is just going a bit too quick for me And it's not enjoyable at this point. I prefer the turn-based puzzles over this high action stuff. And it's kind of like an issue that some games have where like the boss is suddenly like a different genre than the game you've played up to that point, right? Like, yes, it's still like in a way the turn-based kind of puzzles, but by making it real time, it completely changes how it plays. If it somehow played that turn based or gave me like more response time, it would have been fine. I think. You truly think you can break free of those shackles? You should know. Hope leads to disappointment and disappointment to despair. Change of despair are the most delightful. You must be cursed, Malinka. You just found a fellow nerd and he's already done for. No, my luck, he played Necropolis anyway. Should have kept him for myself after all. Yes, regret everything you've ever done. Do we compliment her hair or her outfit? I really like the hairstyle. Lies, they won't save you from your fate. I also really like the claws. Is that so? In that case, thank you, I guess. Now let's get back to suffering. Oh no. Like, how quickly is this going? Like, kind of way too quick for me. Mostly.
Yeah, we're activating God mode. I, I just... It's too quick for me. And it's just different genre than the game I signed up for. I can see how for some people it will be really cool and fun, but... It's in a pinned... In, it's in a pinned comment, but it should be exclamation mark suggest salt. And less words before the real pain begins. Only thing I regret is not seeking you sooner. Quit your cheap flatteries. You make my job difficult. But damn, you have amazing eyes. Look, I don't really want to do this, but the pact has been sealed. Nothing will prevent your damnation. However, I could postpone your torment a few years, if you leave and never disturb hell again. Our fates are one. I will kill you and you will suffer. But it doesn't have to be today. Consider yourself lucky and get out of my sight. I said you're free to go. Be gone. What, you want to invite me to your harem? Don't be ridiculous. You share roof with an immortal avatar of pain, bloodstorm to murder you through torture? Believe me, I have worse in my harem already. Glorious success, nice. Seeing how far of proper ritual we are already, I might as well give it a shot. Thus, your journey has come to an end. You have successfully took girls from hell and was henceforth known as the Helltaker. It was, however, not an easy life to live. It was sure to be short and full of suffering. But life is full of suffering no matter how you live it, so you might as well have some fun when you're at it. Yeah, if you're gonna suffer anyway, you might as well suffer with a harem full of demon girls, right? Another batch of pancakes done, I see. And it's so good. Thanks for the help. Don't mention it, it's the least I can do. Though I have to say, I still can't figure out how you get them perfectly thin every time. And the way you spin them in the air, there must be some sorcery involved. Experience. Yeah, sure. Better go give everyone their pancakes. Pancakes. You're reading romantic comedy? Never heard of this romance stuff before. It's the kinkiest thing I've ever seen. Maybe I've been doing this things wrong all this time? What, wanna go on a date? I've always known you were a perverted degenerate. That's me, degen extraordinaire. Awesome, I have a question though. Shoot, the girls say you never take off your shades. Why is that? I could ask you the same. Oh me, it's cause I'm blind. That's my story, care to share yours? Maybe one day. Oh come on, the girls are already taking bets. I'm losing 10 bucks if you don't have laser vision. You might lose 10 bucks. Pancakes and coffee. Ah, the tired demon no longer. Is it over extracted again? Oh no, it's quite alright actually. You haven't filtered it properly this time. Keep it up and you might still survive the day with no broken fingers. Yeah. But do feel free to mess it up. The local hospital proved quite competent so far. Next one at 5.15pm, double espresso, yes? It's your job to remember, not mine. Do you know how hard it is to find new turn-based strategies we could play? Almost everything Mankind produced is either half ass sequel or a shitty ripoff. I would like to play them anyway. Same here, unfortunately. We will need a lot of alcohol. I mean, she, she is not wrong. Like, almost everything nowadays is like a sequel or a ripoff or something. But some of those sequels or ripoffs are still good and I still want to play them. So, you know. If it works, you know, I understand why the companies do it. Even though at times it's cool to see companies take, take a gamble and try something different and new.
I could use some fire. Six percent of games are literally just reprints. I I guess you could see it that way. But I mean, that would still leave 40% to actually do something new. That's still quite... I, I guess, yeah, innovating in some way. That's still okay. Especially because of how many games are released anyway nowadays. I don't know. It's, it's, it's funny to think about though, yeah. Sure, I could use some fire. No smoking in the house. Or oh, what? You'll punish me? Go ahead. I've been a very bad girl. You'd enjoy that, wouldn't you? Go screw yourself. Pancakes. How long have I been here? A few weeks. It feels like forever. The things I've seen. The things I've done. I could write a spectacular paper on this. But no idea, believe me. It's just too surreal. Oh. And my research has barely scratched the surface. Oh, want to join me in my studies today? You study too much. Eat your pancakes. Pancakes? Uh, we, we, we messed up. Harassing neighbors again? What did you do? Why is the police at the door? Huh. Well, let's talk here first. Pancakes. Trespassers seek to invade our domain. Should I dispose of them? No need. I'll take care of this. Sure, have fun. Will you enjoy your pancake? Police, open the door. We know you're in there. Open the door now. Well, fine. We'll open the door. Pancakes? Oh, thanks. We still have questions, though. And that was the story of the Helltaker. Narrated for you by good old Beelzebub. Quite a silly tale, I know. To be honest, downright abhorrent, actually. Horrible story about horrible people. But perhaps you found some joy in it. Maybe a laugh or two. Still, thank you for giving this old fly some company. Until next, the end. Okay, that was cool. That, that was fun. I really appreciate that. Made by one guy with sound design by another guy and then music tracks from some other people. Neat. This was good. Thanks for playing. Thanks for developing this. Is there anything else you desire? No. I, uh, I think that will do it. Thank you, though. Yeah, that, that was good.